This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com forward slash soldier for your free trial membership. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here, back with another What's in My Doc video. I'm going to show you some of my favorite applications I'm currently running on my Mac right now. So, going to jump right into it. The first application, which is a game called Alpine Crawler. And this is a game that you can get on your iPhone and your iPod Touch now. And uh, you see, as it's showing right here, a nice big advertisement. But it's a very simple game here, and I'm going to mute my computer. Um, and you're just using the directional pad to kind of navigate this truck through all types of hills and obstructions and stuff, and try to get it there without blowing the truck up first. And uh, and I, I really don't know why. Actually, uh, I'm just addicted to these type of games, like Doodle Jump and like this. And I'm going a little too fast here. But anyway, here, oh, made a jump here. Uh, but it's a very simple game. Again, you just use the up arrow and the down arrow uh, to navigate here and just kind of look at the map here. And, oh, you don't want to flip over like that, please. Uh. And so if you flip over like that, you got to wait till the uh, tractor trailer kind of flips you over here, hopefully before time runs out. And, uh, and uh, I don't know. It's just me. I just really like these type of games here. It's, it looks pretty good on the big screen here on the iMac, even though it doesn't take advantage of the full screen. I uh, got a couple black bars on the side there. But anyway, this game is called... Oh. And I killed my truck. Hey, yo. But that's called Alpine Crawler there. I think it's either free or like a dollar. I can't remember. I'm um, in the app store. Let me get out of here. All right. The next one I'm going to show you is called Telling Folders. And I need to show my desktop here for this one. And this is an application that allows you to change the uh, folder icon of any folder that you want. So, um, so say here I got a, a picture of this MacBook Air here, which I just got and I love it. And um, so anyway, I'm, I'm working on a folder and usually when I make one of my videos, I have a folder with all the videos pertaining to that particular product. And so I'm going to drag this MacBook Air folder over here. So I drag the icon over here first before I go too far too farther there. And it uh, shows me the icon there. And I can even uh, emboss it in there, which doesn't look that great. Sometimes pictures look better that way, but I'm just going to do normal here. Then I'm going to drag my MacBook Air folder right over here. Let it on top of that, and boom! Now on my desktop here, you see my MacBook Air photo has that icon. So this is pretty cool. You can use any type of uh, pictures or files or anything like that to kind of um, overwrite uh, whatever the folder is. So I think it's really cool. And I got one for my Jambox here. I'm gonna just show you how it works again. There's my Jambox one. Drag that over. Boom! Now my Jambox review uh, folders now has that the icon for it. So I think it's pretty cool. And this one is called Telling Folders. And the next application I'm going to show you is another Twitter application. I know, I know. Some of you are probably sick of them, but if you actually use Twitter on a daily basis, you're always looking for the next big app out there to make your life a little bit easier in the Twitter world. Um, but this one is called Kiwi, and it's very fast and very customizable. That's why I really like this application. I actually reviewed this a long time ago, one of my earlier What's in My Doc videos. But now it's available in the App Store with a couple new features here. But again, it's very sleek, very elegant here, and it's very fast as far as opening up pictures and links like this. Big Shack has uploaded a picture there. You see it pop right on up instantly. And um, also one of the cool things that I, I like the just the animations to, uh, with this application. So I'm going to click on somebody's profile here, click on their picture there, and it pops up like a little window or something. I don't know, really. Uh, but anyway, all the uh, information is right here. Uh, some more options here by clicking that button there. But also it's a cool thing. It has a nice little tab interface. So you can add a different tab. So if you have a different uh, username or a different Twitter account you want to add to it, you can automatically add that. Also Twitter search. So say you, it's a certain keyword that you always search for a lot on Twitter here. Of course, mine would be Apple, right? Uh, but you can have it every time you launch this application alongside your own personal timeline. You can have that tab open up with this anything about Apple. So that's pretty cool. And also you can do the same thing if you want to stalk somebody. You have a certain user um, out there that you want to stalk there. Um, you can always have their information pop right on up, pop right on up here. But also too, if you want to pull this out and make another window here, you can. So you can have multiple windows for some reason if you wanted to. If you want to drag this back, uh, if you want to actually want to drag this back up here, you can drag it back up to the regular timeline there. And the big cool feature of Kiwi is that again, like I said, it's very customizable. So now uh, only you can do those tasks, but also you can add different themes. So. Let me come back to my profile here. And uh, so you can click on the themes here in the preferences here. And you can simply click between them and change uh, different things and change the look of your Twitter application to fit your personal needs here. So I like that. I like this a lot. And these are just, uh, I think, about nine different ones here. But also there's a lot of uh, hundreds of different themes you can actually find on the uh, manufacturer on the application website here. So these are some of them. So you can always add a different look and you can make your own theme actually if you wanted to and really personalize your Twitter application. But anyway, guys, this is the end of this What's in My Doc video. And before we head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video, Netflix. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch thousands of TV shows and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like a PS3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii console. Plus, get DVDs by mail in about one 
Business Day. And as a new member and a Soldier Knows Best viewer, you can get a free trial membership by going to Netflix.com forward slash Soldier and signing up now. And be sure to use this URL so they know that we sent you. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video here, another What's in My Doc video. I'm interested to see what new applications out there that you're probably using. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you think about these, and I'll make sure, hopefully, I remember to put the links uh, for these applications in the description box down below, and I will catch you next time. Peace.